You're probably familiar with the Milky Way Galaxy, a massive collection of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter that represents our home in the universe. But did you know that within that galaxy lies another galaxy, the Galaxy E8? Welcome to Wheels Boy, where we cover the newest, coolest, and wildest vehicles from the Chinese car market. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Galaxy is an all-new brand from Geely and slots into the mainstream category. Prices for the E8 sedan range from 25 to 32,000 US dollars. If our review has you dreaming of taking a Galaxy E8 across the cosmos, reach out to us via email at sales at wheelsboy.cn. We can connect you with a reliable exporter of Chinese vehicles. Geely is best known for its acquisition of brands like Volvo and Lotus, but they also have their own growing portfolio of plug-in hybrid and pure electric brands. Kind of like how the Milky Way is constantly absorbing the stars from nearby dwarf galaxies, even as it gives birth to new stars of its own. The Milky Way takes the form of a disk with spiral-like arms, a traditional shape for galaxies. The E8 also takes a traditional shape for a modern electric sedan with its slick, fast-back roofline. The front-end styling, while not as awe-inspiring as that of our Cosmos, is still quite fetching and arguably more aggressively designed. It also has a frunk measuring 53 liters. The Milky Way Galaxy measures 105,700 light-years across. The E8 measures a much more modest 5,010 millimeters, or a tiny bit shorter than a BMW i5. Spread across that length is a smooth body with deeply sculpted sheet metal, terminating in a razor-thin LED. This design allows for the E8 to achieve a drag coefficient of just 0.199, easily among the lowest we've ever seen on the channel. The E8 is also capable of using various voice commands, even from outside of the vehicle. Ni hao yin he. Official number for the rear cargo area, 465 liters. At the heart of our galaxy lies a black hole with a mass equivalent to 4 billion suns. At the heart of the E8 is a lithium iron phosphate battery, which measures 62 to 76 kilowatt hours and provides a claimed CLTC range of 550 to 665 kilometers. The 800 volt architecture of the E8 can charge from 10 to 80% in just 30 minutes, unless you get the dual motor version, which has a slightly different battery pack measuring 75.6 kilowatt hours, and it can do the deed in just 20 minutes. Our own galaxy, it received its first charge from the Big Bang itself, and it's still going. While the front end styling of the E8 can't compete with the beauty of the night sky, this interior screen, a single 8K display measuring 45 inches in width, might very well be able to. That is, by the way, one screen, not two or three separate screens. It's also got way more apps and faster load times in the night sky, thanks to a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8295 processor. If that's not enough to convince you, there's also a 25.6 inch head up display, which will show things like your speed, as well as turn by turn navigation directions. Unfortunately, the Milky Way, without a head up display, requires us to use math in order to determine its speed. Geely is known for producing some of the best quality interiors of any Chinese automaker in whatever given segment that it's participating in. The E8 is no different, with good quality materials and material choices throughout the interior of the car, as well as tight tolerances. Compare that to our section of the Milky Way, in which the average distance between stars is four light years. That's almost as big as the panel gap on a Tesla. All but the very cheapest versions of the E8 come with a standard 50 watt wireless charging pad, as well as heated and cooled front seats. If you get the dual motor version, they add massaging seats. There's also an available satellite connection made possible by Geely's network of low orbit satellites. Those, if you weren't aware, are in space. Despite being significantly smaller than the Milky Way, the E8 still provides rear passengers with a decent amount of space, thanks to a wheelbase of 2,925 millimeters, or again, just a little bit shorter than a BMW i5. You also get pretty good headroom for a fast back roof line. Rear passengers also get two USB charging ports and a comfy little fold down armrest.
The E8 rides on the sustainable experience architecture, one that it shares with models from Volvo, Lotus, and Smart. According to Galaxy, they were able to achieve a perfect 50-50 weight distribution for the E8 thanks to extensive use of aluminum and high-strength steel in that architecture and the rest of the vehicle. As for the Milky Way, it makes extensive use of dark matter, which comprises 90% of our galaxy. A rear motor Galaxy E8 can hit 100 km per hour in 6 seconds, but upgrade to the dual motor with 475 kilowatts and 710 newton meters of torque, and you can get there in just 3.5 seconds. Our own Milky Way Galaxy is also accelerating, but it's due to the aforementioned dark matter, not electric motor. The E8 may be able to muster massive acceleration numbers thanks to those electric motors, but its more affordable price point dictates that it uses a more affordable and simpler front suspension, McPherson strut in this case. It does, however, have a five-link rear, and the combination provides a pretty darn good ride. I don't know exactly what type of suspension the Milky Way Galaxy uses, but considering the fact that you didn't realize you were hurtling through the universe at 2.2 million kilometers per hour until I told you just a few seconds ago, I imagine it's pretty nice. But Galaxy doesn't pitch the E8 as a comfortable cruiser. They pitch it as a performance sedan, making consistent comparisons to vehicles like the Tesla Model S and the Porsche Taycan GTS. Indeed, there are some metrics in which these vehicles are similar, like acceleration, but when it comes to actual driving experience, I wouldn't say they're on the same level. Then again, it costs less than one-fifth the price of a Porsche Taycan GTS here in the Chinese market. So, I think in order for it to succeed, it needs to provide more than one-fifth of the driving experience. And I think it does that. The ride and handling, certainly not Taycan GTS levels, but they are better than I have come to expect for Chinese electric sedans, let alone Chinese electric sedans this big and this affordable. It's definitely not as lithe as something like a Tesla Model 3 or a BYD SEAL, both of which are smaller vehicles, but it does feel like you can have actual fun while driving this car. The Galaxy E8 does have available Level 2 ADOS, and there is one trim level where you can get a LiDAR unit. However, you cannot select the LiDAR unit and the dual motor powertrain. The universe is expanding at such a speed that even if we were actually able to achieve light speed travel, we still would only be able to reach about 3% of visible galaxies. That has nothing to do with the Galaxy E8, which is a fine entry into the highly competitive Chinese electric sedan category. I just wanted to give you something to think about as you lay in bed tonight, staring at the ceiling and contemplating existence.